Elijah, the prophet of God, had just demonstrated in Israel that God was the true God and he was the only God. Elijah, the, the man of God, demonstrated to the people of Israel that they didn't need 450 false prophets for false gods. And he finished them in the name of God, the God of Israel. The people of God, as they saw this, they proclaimed in their knees and in a loud voice that the Lord was God. Amen. How many of you can proclaim the Lord is God? The Lord is God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's why we worship him. That's why we put our trust, trust in him because he is the only God and the only one worthy to receive all honor, all praise, all worship. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But there was yet the threat of Jezebel, a pagan queen that was brought into Israel. She wanted to kill Elijah, the prophet of God. It was not enough that a drought of three and a half years has end, had ended. No, not yet. We're going to read First King, First Kings chapter 19, verses 1 to 9. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done. Ahab was the king of Israel. I'm going to read it again. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me, be it ever so severely, if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. She was talking about the 450 prophets of a false god that Elijah had killed. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to Beersheba in Judah, he left his servant there while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, sat down under it and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I'm no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. All at once an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around and there by his head was some bread baked over half coats and a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, get up and eat for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by, what, by the, that food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. There he went into a cave and spent the night. All that we know about Elijah is that one day he showed up before King Ahab and announced that there would be no rain for three and a half years. That's a long time. When that period of time was fulfilled, there was rain and that was a victory. But that was not the end. No, not yet. Mm. I just want to briefly explain, explain, I'm sorry, what happened to Elijah after this victory. Jezebel, like we read, sent threats because she was furious. She hated Elijah, the man of God. And Elijah did not want to die by the hand of this pagan woman. 
and Jezebel. So Elijah prayed to God in his anguish. And although he did express his desire to die, and that's because he was very depressed. But God provided food and comfort through an angel. And then Elijah took a long journey, 40 days and 40 nights, to a place where he could feel safe again. 40 days and 40 nights is the time that Jesus spent fasting in the wilderness. Sometimes we need to have that time to receive strength from the Lord. We need to find that place of safety for a period of time that could sustain us spiritually, seeking the face of God 40 days and 40 nights. And there Elijah had an encounter with God. And eventually Elijah, the man of God, the servant of God, was taken to heaven in a chariot of fire. That is a victory. And Elijah is there, still in his physical body, in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself, he was betrayed. He was hated. He was tortured and he died on a cross. He was killed by our sins, our transgressions and trespasses. But Jesus had faith in God. And what happened? He resurrected by the power of God mm -hmm. and he ascended to heaven victorious. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you living like Elijah? In spite of the threats and danger, in spite of depression and discouragement he felt, Elijah did not stop trusting God. Elijah did not stop obeying God. Are you living like Elijah? I pray that you do.